<clears throat> and this is my plant tank. I bought um, 11 angels in three different batches from two different breeders at a, an October auction for the Colorado Aquarium Society. And unfortunately, the smallest of the 11 angels did pass, but the others all seem to have well, mostly doubled in size just since the middle of October. I mean, it's crazy. I also I picked up at the same time uh, in three different batches six Bolivian rams. Now I know two are female and the other two are mated pairs. They both came from the same breeder, a, a young teenage lad who seemed to know a lot more about fish than maybe I do and I I've had fish since the 60s although I took a 25 year break but uh, my goodness. I also picked up three ancestress uh, bristle nose from a friend and they're in there as well. And if you can ever spot them, there's some uh, Corydoras pygmaeus in there. Um, just four of them. I had some more and they weren't doing well and I lost a couple so I moved the, the rest into this tank. This used to be my isolation and hospital tank. There are also in there around 25 Otto Sinkless cats. Now they mostly just sit along the glass and I see one there near the bottom left. And then all of a sudden they'll move off at 192 miles an hour and go one foot and then stop and pretend they're invisible. In my 125 tank they liked to school together sometimes and a lot of times they were just scattered all over. Um, the rams and the angels are going to be going into that 125 I just mentioned which I totally rescaped about a month ago. Now a lot of these plants, especially the uh, jungle valve on the left, are going to be going in that 125. I haven't moved them yet because even though the 125 is set up, all those uh, plants there are planted in uh, a gravel substrate that has a whole bunch of peat moss under it. Well, the plants grow nice, but if you pull them up by the roots, you get peat moss all over your tank. <laughs> so, I'm going to um, wait a few weeks. Oh, there's another autosynclus in the bottom left, right? Side by side. I'm going to wait a few weeks and, uh, and I'm going to totally replant this. I'm going to tear everything out and rebuild it and give it a fresh start and at the same time I've got an empty 29 gallon that I'm going to make into a plant tank as well so that uh, I can use them both as isolation hospital tanks and it should work well um, by the way this one has a I use HOBs for the most part I have some canisters and I have one small moving bed sand filter and I've got uh, yeah, I've got some internals I don't use much. I've got sponge filters which I use on small tanks. This one has one of my smallest HOBs on it even though it's a 55. <clears throat> I get away with it because those plants are very mature and they are eating up everything that the fish are putting out. <laughs> so the uh, water quality is fantastic and I haven't had to worry about it at all. So there you go. There's my plant tank with what uh, 16 
23. Um, probably around 50 fish in it. <laughs> but it's still my plant tank. Oh, by the way, I did tear up some of the plants in rescaping some other tanks recently, so this used to look a whole lot nicer. But we'll get it back. <laughs>